I am speechless and completely blown away by what Team Aquascape have created. We have really outdone ourselves this time, guys and girls. It is probably one of my top 10 favorite features I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. It turned out truly incredible, and I'm completely blown away by all of the little details, the overall design, just the overall beauty of it. It's just so natural looking, and all of the elements that figured into this design, the negative of edge uh, flowing over from three foot deep pond that is started off with a deep stream that is started off by a simple elegant twisting turning three drop waterfall the patio that cantilevers out over the edge the circulation jets the aquatic plants the lily pockets the fish cave everything just turned out spectacular there's a bunch of gnats flying around in my face so it's kind of but I'm, I'm not crying I promise but I am just so overwhelmed with joy and pride knowing that we are turning the keys over to another water feature to a very deserving homeowner. So we are in the home stretch, last day out here at the project. We had a question a couple videos back on how we bring the plumbing into a wetland filter, a constructed wetland filter, especially one that's in the stream or starting off of waterfalls. Now we can do it two ways. One is we can bring the pipe up high over the liner, which is what we're doing here. This three inch pipe right here with the coupling on it is the one that goes down behind this rock and goes into the centipede that runs along the bottom of the wetland filter. And then of course you can see the snorkel cap right there there. When we do this, we want to make sure that when we're coming up over the liner that the bottom of the pipe is three to four inches higher than water level. So that that way we get that soil nice and compacted and then bring that liner up so we know it's above water and then that pipe will end up sweeping out over the top of the liner and then dips back down and then connects to the plumbing that's attached to the pump. Another way to do it would be to attach a bulkhead fitting which is a penetration through the liner and creating a watertight seal using that bulkhead fitting and throwing an MPT on both sides and doing it that way. If you do it that way, you don't have to bring the pipe in over or above water level, the three to four inches. You can bring it in at whatever level you want. The challenge for that, if that thing ever leaks, if you've got rock on top because you didn't tighten down the bulkhead fitting well enough, it can be a son of a gun to get to. The nice thing about doing it this way is you can really see where the bottom of the pipe is, check the edges, and make sure that that is good and it's very easily repaired if that ever is the case. So that's the choice that we opted to do today would be to come up high over the liner and then it's going to dip back down and then we'll disguise all this with rock and gravel because we still need to put some retaining stones in uh, along this back side of the berm underneath this oak tree that's right here and terrace all this dirt back so we're gonna go ahead and get this plumbing done so that we can grade all this out and start working our retaining wall stones in here and then we're gonna work our way back this way we also have Dan up here now that the waterfalls is built is attaching the spillway that's going to start off the waterfalls and you can see the diffuser sitting back behind this frame rock inside the liner. So right now has the spillway dry set to where it's gotta be. Then he's going to mark out where the outline of the bulkhead fitting on the back of the spillway needs to be on that liner. So he has a good idea on where to cut that hole to fit that the back of that bulkhead fitting on that spillway through the liner. The reason we are sinking it down a little bit lower is because we want this to be more of a pooling area back here. And I wanna have a large rock coming over top of the spillway without it appearing to be so far above above this waterfall spillway stone. The other challenge we have is we are running really tight on liner back here. So by sinking that down, it gave us some excess liner or gave us the liner that we need to be able to create a good edge and get it back behind this rock. The next step is gonna be attached to the spillway to the liner. And then we will run our other pipe, our other three inch pipe that's running right there. We'll dig that up through the berm and we'll attach it to the back. Backfill everything, get another rock here, another rock here, and then we'll put this thing to bed and then we'll kind of work our way out this way as well. Like I said, we are in the home stretch. We are probably going to be waiting on the water truck to come fill this thing, but we are going to see water running today. I promise you. And it's going to look absolutely incredible. I just love the way the edge works is coming together. And we've got Corey over here working on a very, very important piece of the project. So Corey is just finishing up grabbing some of the limestone chips that he's using to help level off a lot of these patio stones. Now this is an irregular blue stone patio, which I love because it's very organic 
organic, it's very artistic, and you can see how great of a job he has done along with Luis and Dan at getting those nice tight joints. So he's just kind of filling in, leveling everything off, and then we're gonna poly sand everything and give it just a really nice, slick look. But this just looks incredible, and I love the way it cantilevers out over this brick wall. Such an incredible look. Sit over here on these big slabs. You've got your feet dangling in the water. We've got about two feet of depth here. We've got our three foot deep section over there. It just looks awesome. The stream waterfalls deep pond section has an incredible direction, serpentine shape, and I cannot wait to fire this thing up. So I'm gonna get off of this butt rock and I'm gonna get back to work, but just wanted to touch base, show you what's happening, explain some of those things that we do on the regular basis out here that maybe is unfamiliar to you or you have questions about. So we wanna be able to help you guys be successful pond builders and share our tips and tricks through our failures and successes and by sharing them with you. So here's how Jack brought that pipe over. So he brought the transit stick and he shot the bottom of the pipe all the way down into here, the lowest point where that liner kind of comes up and crests underneath it. And that is four inches above water level. So we run zero risk of losing water out of this or this sucking that edge down. The reason we go four inches and then compact everything is again, the same way we would with our liner edges is we want to make sure that that liner comes up three to four inches along the back sides of these rocks, holding all that water inside the pond and not creating a low edge anywhere. All right, we have finished up the waterfall. As you can see, we got some bare liner back there, some undone edges. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to actually see this thing run and do the edges at that point. But to do that, we need water. And to get water, we get a water truck. There's about 6,000 gallons in a big tanker truck out on the street. Finally showed up at about the 25th hour of the day. And we are ready to get some water in here and then we're gonna fire this baby up. everyone it is that time we have finally wrapped this amazing amazing project and I have to say I am speechless and completely blown away by what team aquascape have created we have really outdone ourselves this time guys and girls it is probably one of my top 10 favorite features I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of it turned out truly incredible and I'm completely blown away by all of the little details the overall design just the overall beauty of of it. It's just so natural looking and all of the elements that figured into this design. The negative edge uh, flowing over from three foot deep pond that is started off with a deep stream that is started off by a simple elegant twisting turning three drop waterfall. The patio that cantilevers out over the edge. The circulation jets. The aquatic plants. The lily pockets. The fish cave. Everything just turned out spectacular. There's a bunch of gnats flying around in my face. So kind of but I'm, I'm not crying I promise but I am just so overwhelmed with joy and pride knowing that we are turning the keys over to another water feature to a very deserving homeowner and knowing that it's going to be in good hands just by judging by the landscape that he has already put in and will continue to put in and grow along with this beautiful water feature I just god dang I absolutely love it. I am totally floored by it. And when the water truck showed up and we fired those pumps up for the first time, I was speechless, like I said, guys. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna turn the camera on and just kind of take you through this one of a kind, beautiful custom creation, as the pond guy always likes to say. But this thing just really takes the cake. And what a way to break in the year with a enormous pond, huge rain exchange. This had all the bells and whistles. This is the top of the line ecosystem pond and it just turned out incredible. So let me turn the camera on. I'm gonna stop yapping because I'm just, I thought I was speechless, apparently not, but let me turn the camera on and show you.
boat gang out there. This is that 100 large aqua block reservoir located in this area in through here and check it out. Look at that beautiful negative edge waterfalls. Two stones that were meant to be together. Just look how the water crests up over all the way over there. Finger's not in focus, but look at how the water just kind of crawls on the right side of the rock, but then does what it's gonna do. Oh my gosh, it just looks beautiful. Negative edge, we've got some steps going down in, some flat rocks for those grandkids. We've got some of these interactive steppers that I'm gonna go ahead and hop across right now. Oh. Dude. This gorgeous patio. We just sprayed it down. We put the poly sand in, but check out this view. The water is crystal clear all the way down to that three foot deep section. We've got a circulation jet down there, the fish cave back over there, but look at that current. Gosh, that's so awesome. We've got a big elephant ear tucked in over there. We've got some iris, a couple lilies, one there, one over here. But look at the meandering, twisting, turning nature of this deep stream. We've got some more aquatic plant pockets in through here. I love these big slabs of stone. I love this big slab right down here that's only four inches underwater. It's just incredible. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it's almost a bedrock type look. And then just these big pieces kind of sloping and sliding in, changing the shape and the direction. Of course, we've got a beautiful Skyline Bridge Ponds from Bernie out at Skyline Bridges and Water Features out of California. The super nice high-end low-profile composite decking bridge and then of course we have the wetland filter located in here. You can see the snorkel cap. You can't really because they, the guys did a great job disguising it with these cobbles but just look at this area in through here. Just love how it turned out. We've got about eight inches of water going into about a foot of water then it shallows up just on the other side by that bedrock area over there and then of course just a very simple elegant waterfalls starts off with a big sheet veil style falls we've got one coming in at a 90 degree angle right behind it again two rocks so we've got two rocks two rocks and then we have more of a standard style waterfalls where we've got our frame rock frame rock and then just a big spill stone and then we've got our spillway buried all the way back in there and of course we've got some creeping jenny and rush and all that stuff in here to soften up the edges it just turned out spectacular and i can't just be more proud of my team that i'm a part of brian did a great job job coming up with an awesome design but myself and the boys did a fantastic job i'm so proud of them and it just looks incredible i love that glass like look and this big open expanse of water we've got these beautiful oak trees as the canopy oh my gosh it just turned out incredible we've got a little bit of lawn restoration left to do here and over there listen we're gonna do hopefully a deep dive video at some point off of this but we're gonna go ahead and wrap here we put a lot into this weather was an issue logistics was an issue overhead utility utilities were an issue, but we overcame all challenges and obstacles and really crushed it and knocked it out of the park. I hope you guys feel the same way. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed this. I know we sure as heck had a great time. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Click the little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all that Team Aquascape has to offer. We're coming out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time with new content. Also, if you haven't already, check out our Pondemonium link. It is going to be a virtual pandemonium but click the link below and you want to find out about how we as well as contractors all over the country are getting better and being the best ecosystem pond contractors and certified aquascape contractors out there in the world today so it, it will be an event you do not want to miss